Oh guys, yes. G'day, Gun and Rust back once again. Today we are checking out some mech titles I picked up recently and I'm mecha excited. I know that's a bad dad joke, but let's get in to see what I picked up. So the first two titles I've got to show you came from my great friend Luke Lights Games on Instagram. He's also on YouTube, but he truly shines on Instagram and I will leave the links to his channel, but he hooks him up with a really good deal on a couple of Armored Core games. The first one I have here is Armored Core 4. Now this is one I've been wanting to track down for quite some time. I've got quite a nice little collection of Armored um, Core games, as you can see by this little video here. And I was itching to pick this one up and it gave me a great price on it. And this is the 12th title in the long running series, even though it does say it's Armored Core 4. A lot of the titles were out in the PS2 days. And I have a lot of fond memories playing them during my high school days. But this one here is a third person mech shooter. And it offers a lot of customizations, color, like you get to do a lot of the sort of color customizations and then weapon customizations, and you get to balance out your mech as well, which I think is really cool. I've had a little bit of play of it and so far enjoying it, but I do want to get around to finishing this at some stage, but really nice to add this to the PS3 collection. And then we have this big mother flipper, we have Armored Core 5. Now the one thing that I'm super excited to, you know, dig into with this one here, or jump into the suit I should say, the mech suit of all things, is that this one has thermal, kinetic, and chemical weapons, which just sounds fucking awesome in my opinion. So I am really looking forward to diving into this and just blowing the shit out of other mechs. That is what I love doing, you know, I'm Gundam Russ and I love my Gundams, obviously being big mech sort of robots, this is my sort of game, so I'm keen to give this a go and, and maybe at some stage after we get a few of the other reviews, which I'm going to be doing later this year, we might do a few reviews in these sort of armored core games. But obviously let me know guys below if you'd love to see that, if you don't want to see it, just tell me to piss off. <laughs> Earlier in the week guys, it was my birthday of all things and Jess spoiled me as she always does and I got this rad Streets of Rage 2 t-shirt, Oh yeah! But I absolutely love this, it's so cool. But Jess also got me this title here which um, was a big surprise and that is SD Gundam G-Generation Genesis. Now this particular title came out before Cross Race and it's more of this, from what I can see so far, it's a lot more of the OG sort of series with the Cross Race series, which is the newer one. There's a lot of the newer series like your Seed, which I don't really think is quite a new series. It's kind of like a retro series now, but still, you know, from the 35 plus years that Gundam has been around, it is kind of a newer series. I mean, you've got Iron Blood Orphans, but this one here is a lot more of the older style Gundam series, which is really awesome, I still think. And... I have had a great time playing this so far. It just feels, you know, so familiar being that I played the first the other title. Um, the cutscenes in this look really great and really enjoying the storyline so far. So um, it offers a lot like Cross Rains with customizations, but I will be doing a review on this in the coming months. So if you want to stick around and watch that, that'll be coming up soon. But um, yeah, really happy that Jess got me this. It's, uh, just a, a wonderful gift and uh, she knows me well. Continuing on with that awesome thing that is Gundam, we have Mobile Suit Gundam Extreme versus Maxi Boost On. Now, many years back, this was only available in the arcades and they finally brought it out in a, in a PS4 uh, physical version uh, that you could play at home and enjoy. Now, this has been out for quite some time. I just never got around to picking it up. I think it's been out for maybe, what could be close to a year, don't quote me on that, but I finally picked it up. I'm really happy I did. I've been having absolute blast with this, and this is another title that I do want to do a review. Obviously, being Gundam Rust came in, we've got to cover the Gundam games, don't we, guys? But this it just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, there's over 180 character, oh, I should say mobile suits, sorry, that you can um, use and take out to the battlefield. And I really have had a lot of fun playing online, uh, which I will cover off um, because I'm not a big online sort of player. 
but I do love getting out there, even though I get my ass handed to me every time I go out for a battle. This has been a lot of fun, so um, yeah, if you're looking for a sort of more, I guess, a like, robot sort of mecha sort of fun title all in one, um, this is definitely a game I highly recommend. Now the last two titles I've got here to show you guys are uh, a new series that I've gotten into and it definitely stems off the uh, SD Gundam series which are a tactical RPG series and I forgot to probably mention that when I was talking about the uh, Genesis game which is a tactical RPG. Now you know, <laughs> but this one here is a new tactical RPG series I've gotten into and it is the Super Robot Wars series and I picked up Super Robot Wars OG The Moon Dwellers and I also picked up Super Robots V or 5. Now this one I am really particularly looking forward to playing after this one here purely for the fact there is a big crossover with different sort of anime series. Uh, you have Full Metal Panic in here, you have um, Evangelion in here as well and you have of course Gundam which is just super awesome and I am so happy to have both of these particular titles in my collection. There is another two that I need to get to get the full set and once I do, I do want to have a bit of a more of a, you know, more of an in-depth look at this fantastic series which I highly recommend people get into. Um, but so that is something that will be coming in the coming months. We'll be talking more about this Super Robot Wars series. Uh, it just, it's just a, a really fun, you know, as I said, tactical RPG where you've got some wonderful cutscenes, some really good storytelling and oh, I've just been having a blast. So, so happy I finally got into this series. Well there we have guys, there was a nice stack of mech robot style games that I've uh, picked up in the recent weeks. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know guys, I just need some feedback from you guys. How is the lighting looking in this video? I've done a little bit of an upgrade uh, in regards to, to lighting. I've uh, dropped um, quite a bit of money uh, from what I've earned uh, through Google Ads and I thought I would give back to you guys because uh, that's what I want to do. And I hope the lighting is coming through a lot better. I do want to get another light that will sit over here, which is going to probably give it even better lighting. Um, but it is a costly thing to have to uh, try and do this, but I'm always looking at ways to improve. So there will be um, and another advancement of lighting, but I would just love to know from you guys what your thoughts are. Anyway, don't forget guys to leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, Hit that fucking subscribe button, you know what to do guys. See you later.